Hey everyone, the Flying Holucha here, and today we're going to be unboxing Samurai Flamenco. Now, excuse a little bit of dirtiness, I've just taken stickers off. There's some there, a lot there, but you can't see it that well. Uh, yeah, basically, stickers were on it, so I had to peel them off. I'm going to have to clean them on my own time. But uh, this one I've had for about three or four months now. I bought this back then, and then I went to buy that, and it went out of stock. And then one from Birmingham, they were selling one in Birmingham. And then I went to buy it, and it was like, oh, we can't sell it because of a problem with the with the box or some shit. I was like, so why are you listing it on your website then? It's just ridiculous. So it was in stock, but it wasn't, because the one in Birmingham was not shipping. You could only buy it in store. So I don't live in Birmingham, so I couldn't get it. But uh, I was waiting and waiting and waiting, and finally, Samurai Flamenco Part 2... There was three in stock, so one in Birmingham, one in another, another's shop, and another one, and one in another, another shop. Weirdly enough, when I bought it, the one in Birmingham disappeared, and the other one disappeared. So it must have shipped from the other one. I'm just trying, trying to figure out why the one in Birmingham disappeared as well. But uh, if you buy from CX, you understand what I'm saying. But yeah, these two are going for like £60 for both of them. And I think part one you could get on its own. This was at the time. I haven't checked since. But, uh, yeah, they're expensive. They're out of print. That's the reason. But I think they're out of print because loads of people from America, I think, are trying to get them shipped over. Because uh, what, what I'm trying to say is they don't have this in America. It was never licensed in America. Isn't that weird? The Americans don't have a Blu-ray and they don't have a DVD of Samurai Flamenco. At the time of this recording. Isn't that weird? Germany has one. I think France has one. No. America does not have Samurai Flamenco on Blu-ray or DVD. Which is very strange. Sort of like God Eater. I think they do. But I can't find it. But uh, let me just show you the backs real quick. They're, they're a bit raggy. You know, raggedy, whatever. Because there are second hand. So. Doesn't matter too much really. These information sheets tend to do that. All I know is there's a lot of homosexuality in this uh, anime. I think it's only 22 episodes or something. Yeah, it's only 22 episodes. Still quite a hefty amount. Uh, the glue's a bit solidified there, as you can tell, but a lot of releases have that problem. It's not that much. It doesn't really bother me too much. So, yeah, I've had part one for ages. I was just waiting for CX to eventually get part two again, which they did. So, we're going to do them in parts now. So, we're going to go with uh, Samurai Flamenco to begin with. Part one. So we get one digi pack, which has episodes one to five, and then we have episodes six to eleven. <laughs> There's a part in this anime where a girl steps on this guy's nuts, <laughs> and she's just crushing his nuts with her flipping heel of her of her foot, <laughs> and the heel of her heels, and she's got like that, and the and the guy's squirming in pain, and she's like, oh, okay, she's it's, it's in Japanese, but and uh, this yeah, the whole show's in Japanese. It is never released in English due to the fact I don't think it's that that well known. It's a very underrated anime, and not a lot of people paid attention to it so it's not very liked uh we got sketch this is sort of like the uh cowboy bebop collector's edition got sketches from the show wish you had information but you don't it just tells you the names i think this is the girl she steps on this on this guy's crutch <laughs> That's the first booklet. Nice artwork. Uh, close that up. Put 
put that to the side. But all the anime released this in the United Kingdom. Or well, anime limited. Nice digi pack there. I like that. You got episodes 12 to 16. I haven't actually checked the discs. Fuck, the discs are in mint. It's like they haven't even been watched. <laughs> it's like they haven't even been watched, mate. Yeah, discs are immaculate. They're, they're perfect. But, uh, the artwork for that one. Oh, a little bit of dirt there. Oh, it's just a bit sticky. Don't worry. It's just a bit sticky. See, it comes off. Uh, real nice artwork. And we have a look at the booklet. <laughs> I'm getting a Transformers vibe. Not Transformers, a Power Rangers vibe. <laughs> oh, go Power Rangers. God, I like this booklet a bit more. The art looks better, but still wish I had information. It looks really cool, though. And yeah, that's that. Short little unboxing for you, ladies and gentlemen. Because uh, part two came today. So I thought, screw it. I unbox them both together. Sort of like how I want to unbox The Familiar of Zero, but I need to get season two. Sort of like how I, I want to unbox all of K. And, uh, you know, K, The Missing Kings, then Return of the Kings. But then you've got seven stories, which I need to get. But I don't want to pay like 40 or quid at the moment for it. But yeah, that is that. Part one and part two of Samurai Flamenco. Never released in America. Sort of like how America never got uh, Berserk on Blu-ray. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed The Flying Halucha. Shabbat bye.